Hello everybody and welcome to today's video on how to find your voice online, offline and how to engage with your audience. I'm super excited to be here. Are you excited to be able to learn more of this and really engage with your audience? So how to find your voice and engage with your audience. So guess who that starts with? It starts with you. Yes, you. I know that you've been wanting to hide away from that camera, hide away from being able to connect with your audience and really show more of you. However, it does start with you. So let's get started. So I'm going to take you through some steps today. And the first one that I want you to start to look at is around your values and your passions. So really being able to find your voice and engage with your audience, starting with you is around, I want you to connect to you. So what's some of your values around who you are and what you do? And this is really key as well, because I want you to really think about what's the key areas for you around your values. Because a lot of the time that people can hide away from those values because they don't want people to know exactly truly who they are. And I'll share my own experience of myself that spirituality is a, is a key value of mine, as well as communication. Now, if I didn't share my value around spirituality, then I wouldn't attract the people that I want to work with. So that's why I share that and the purpose of you getting to know what your values are around who you are and what you do because it's really, really important because then it will then feed into your delivery. It will then feed into the types of people that you attract into your business or organization. So either just now or later on, come back and just have a bit of a note of three to five values that you have. Then start thinking about what are you passionate about what you do? Because when we're speaking to people and we're connecting with our audience, we want that passion to come through when we're connecting and we are engaging with people because we don't want to be coming on and being robots. We don't want to be coming on being people that we, we, we're not because what we're, well, who we are when we're in conversation is who we want to be on camera as well so that people then get to know that's who you are. So writing down three to five values, starting to then write down what are you passionate about what you do and that's how you're going to be delivering that to your audience. So that's step number one. Step number two is around that engagement comes down to the four P's of speaking. So you can see that there's pitch, there's pause, there's pace and power. So, so a lot of the times that I see is that when people are faced with on camera or faced with speaking to a group of people is that then a lot of the times it can just be monotone. And then what happens is you lose the engagement of your audience because there's nothing to keep their attention, keep them in the moment of really listening to you. So thinking about your favorite movie, right? And they bring in the, the sounds and the music that gets you sitting at the edge of your seat, that you're shouting at the camera, go, don't do that. And this is the way you should be going. So when we speak to people, we want to be able to then bring the pitch up bring it down as well as a balanced spoken word that we're doing. Then we want to look into the pace. So a lot of the time as well, when we're faced with doing something really uncomfortable, we want to speak as fast as we can, get it done, leave, get off of camera and get on with our day. However, is that you will just lose your audience. So you have to be able to slow down your pace in order for your audience to keep up with you and as well as being able to digest that information that you have to say. Then pause. And pause is really important because you know what? Pause is important for you. Pause is important for your audience because when you pause, you get to breathe, which is really super important, right? And then your audience gets to stop and then take in that information before you move on to something else. Power as well of sometimes you could be speaking to a group of people, you might not have a mic and you have to be able to project your voice. So just ensuring that you're, you're not really softly spoken, 
that nobody can be able to hear you and then just thinking of raising sometimes the strength, your voice, your power and then being able to come across as strong, as confident as who you are as well. That's really, really important. So those are the four P's that really help you with your audience. Now, just to think about it, I don't want you to think and go away from here and go, all four of those is what I'm going to be looking at the next time I speak, because then it's just really going to be quite messful. So I want you to pick one of those that you want to be able to each day work on. And it might be with friends, it might be with family, it might be the next time that you're speaking, what's one that you're going to master and then move on to the next one. So don't try and do them all at once um, because then it might be a bit of a mess when you do get there to speak. So that's number two for today. Number three is around when we look at our values and our passions, when we look into our speaking voice and when we connect with our heart is then how we're going to be able to connect with people because we're having a heartfelt communication, we're having heartfelt conversations with people and people know that you really believe in who you are and what you do, that it's coming from your heart, that you know that you're there for the people, you're adding value to them and people start to be able to feel that. And that's the difference when we speak is we want people to be able to feel what we feel, that we're there for them. So I want you to be able to take some time and really connect to those values, connect to the passion, because then when you're speaking, that's how you're going to deliver it. When you really connect with those things, remember why you're doing what you're doing is how you're going to be able to have that voice and connect with people and connect with your audience online or offline, which is really, really important to do. So that's my three points for today to be able to help you find your voice and really be able to engage with your audience. So I want to leave you with this question that I want you to answer for yourself and you can note down either on your phone or either on a, a notepad. So I want you to think of three things about yourself that you can bring to your delivery and your engagement. So these three things are about what you love about you because that's what's really important. So really take some time and connect to your heart and what's the three key things that you're going to bring. And it could be your personality, it could be your fun, it could be anything that you have that's about you that you can bring to your delivery because that's where it brings in your authenticity, it brings in your personality and that's how you engage with your audience. So take some time and really write down what those three things are and remember have it somewhere for when the next time that you're going to be speaking are you bringing those three pieces of you to that and I'll leave you with this question of how will you connect with your audience in the future are you going to connect with them as your authentic self and really become that person that you want to become that's what's really important so really have a bit of a, a ponder around that question as well and I'm going to leave you with this great quote that I love as well from Warren Buffett. And if you can't communicate and talk to other people and get your ideas across, you're giving up on your potential. So go out there, be able to find your voice, connect with people online or in person as your authentic self and go out there and really connect with people. And I absolutely believe that you can do it. So go out there, be your true self, be your authentic self, and really help other people with what you have to say. Thank you again for watching.